Hi guys, it's Selena. Just a warning, this video will contain spoilers. So if you haven't seen the regular show finale and you don't want to get spoiled, you should probably click out of it. Okay, on January 16th, 2017, regular show aired its final episode. And wow, this, this is what you call a finale. This was truly a finale. Oh my god, like, this was great. So it aired in like, three parts. The first part was a regular epic final battle part one. All of them have to go to Laudi Land, which is where Pops is from, and that's the place where the battle will take place. And then, when they were there, they were shown these like, scrolls or paintings or whatever of all the previous battles and you know history repeats itself so everything's always happening again and again and again and again the same way and then right before the battle begins <laughs> this kid from Lolly Land does the national anthem and it is amazing like that had me dead he was just singing oh Lolly Land oh Lolly Land and then like he just bust out he was like oh okay I'm not gonna sing but you know he did his thing right before the battle and you know, he slayed, he killed it. He, he gave a performance, honey. And then after that, they did the actual battle, Pops and Anti-Pops. And when, okay, when I first saw this, well, when I, when I saw this, the first thing I thought as soon as they was about to fight was dang, cause as soon as Pops and Anti-Pops ripped off their shirts, like you see them little, si them six packs, honey. No, Anti-Pops had a 24 pack. I was like, dang. <laughs> anyway, part two is um, a regular epic final battle part two. That was basically just a fight scene. And that was a fight scene. Was it the best fight scene I've seen? I don't know. I honestly don't know. But that was that was a fight scene. It was really good. Everybody, okay, so it was supposed to be one-on-one -on -one at first. Well, at first, at first, Pops and them um, tried to cheat because, you know, Mordecai had this good idea where they can change fate, you know? Everything, history doesn't have to repeat itself so they can change fate. So then they was like, okay, let's try to cheat a little bit so that you have the upper hand pops and that you win instead of it being equally. And then that basically didn't do anything. But then, like, anti pops like, let's go one-on-one. -on -one. So they was fighting one-on-one -on -one for a little bit. And then all these people started showing up on anti pops side. And I'm just like, what's going on? Because I just, like, I didn't think Pops was going to lose. But, like, I was, I had my doubts. I was like, oh my goodness. Anyway, and then all these, like, and then all the people um, started showing up on Pops' side. And it was just, like, old characters, which you know how finales do. They always try to introduce, like, all these old characters that you forgot about. I don't know where Thomas was, but everybody else was there, basically. And it was, it was a battle, like, and, ugh, the part that got me. Because Anti-Pops started winning for a little bit. And Muscle Man and High Five Ghost died, got erased first. And that's when, like, I just felt the tears in my eyes. I felt them. Like, I wasn't crying, but I was about to. Because I was just like, how? Why would they kill off a main character? Is what I was thinking when Muscle Man and high five goes, die. I was like, what? Y'all not gonna end on this. And then that just kept happening. And everybody just kept on dying. And I was just like, what is going on? And they just kept going and going and going and dying and dying and dying. And I was, I was getting sad. And I was also mad at the same time. I'm sad and mad. Cause first of all, how you gonna end the show with everybody dying? That's not the finale I want. I don't know if you guys want that finale, but that's not the finale I was hoping for. And then it ended, part two ended with Anti-Pops and Pops 
their fists colliding. But Mordecai was like, dude, this cannot end how it's always ending. So like he like flung him and Rigby in like the middle of the collision and that was it. And I was in shock. I was like, why are they going on commercial right now? Like, oh my goodness, I was in shock because I legit did not know what to think. At first, I already saw everybody else dying. So I'm just like, did Mordecai and Rigby just, are, are they crushed? Like, are, are they good? I, this, I was in, I was feeling lots of emotions with this finale. And then the third and final part of the finale was the power. And as soon as I started, I was pissed. I was so pissed because it was just showing the rest of the first episode. And I'm just like, so y'all just gonna end these seven years with just all of them dying. Huh? Just, just all of them is gonna die. That, that's how you gonna do me, JG. Quintel, if that's even your real name. That's just how you gonna do me. Okay, okay, that, that's how you wanna play it. Hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm, okay. So yeah, I was mad. I really was. But then, something happened, y'all. Y'all know what happened. Yeah, yeah. But Rigby had deja vu. He remembered. He remembered. And I was like, okay, this is not the first episode. Just playing again. This is actually still the finale. And I'm just like, yes, Rigby, remember everything. And he remembered and then he showed Mordecai the box set that they made of all their memories and he touched it and he remembered. And I'm just like, yes! Right when the two fists are colliding, they, they go back to that point in time. And they basically help Pops to finish it all. But Pops, he's just like, dude, this is not in my character. I am not a fighter. I should have did what my heart was telling me to do since the beginning. And instead of fighting this and ending this with violence, I end this with peace. And that honestly, even though it made me so sad what he did, it was totally in character. Pops is just this gentle, sweet guy. He he does not fight. So for him, like, let's let's reverse it. Like, let's think of it in a different way now. Like for him to finish this off with actually like fighting would have been kinda out of character. So, yeah, I see what they did there, you know. So it was, it was a good thing, you know, he ended this peacefully. So then he decided to hug Anti-Pops, which is such a Pops thing to do. It really is. It's so Pops. So then he hugs Anti-Pops and he never lets him go. And then they go into this like hole, like this, this white hole thing. They, they go into this thing and he dies. And when I tell you, I started crying so hard. Like, they really killed off Pops. And like I said before, I was not expecting them to kill off a main character. And they Pops, Pops is dead. Pops is dead. Wow. Okay. I was good this whole time, but now I'm just remembering it. Like, it's been a few days now. Pops is really dead, y'all. Oh my gosh. But he sacrificed himself. For everybody this I was kind of thinking when I was watching this that pops was supposed to be like a Christ figure like you know how even if you're not religious or whatever but Jesus died for us for all our sins he died on the cross for all of us and pops died so that everybody else can live it's like Jesus he died so everybody else can live so I feel like I don't know if they meant to do that probably I, I, think, I think they did that on purpose. 
him being like a Christ figure. Yeah, they had to have done that on purpose. I, I don't, that's not a coincidence. After three years in space, I believe it's three years, they finally come home and oh, oh, I, I'm already crying. But this makes me cry even more because I'm just like, sentimental montages always make me cry. And, I'm already, and deaths always make me cry, especially in TV shows when I love the character. So, I was already crying over Pops. This montage done did it. I was crying even harder than I was before. And this montage just basically shows everybody like how they are, and they all grow up, and they show their lives, and oh my gosh, this is so hard. Oh, like, ah. Uh, Oh my goodness. Muscle Man and Starla, they have lots of kids. Uh, Mordecai, he finally fulfills his dream of being an artist and he meets someone who he truly loves and they get married, I'm assuming, and get and have lots of kids too. And lots of people, some people were mad a little mad because he didn't end up with Margaret, but honestly, honestly, Margaret been on games. Like, especially like in the earlier seasons when Mordecai liked Margaret, Margaret liked all them little boys and she always flaunted her boyfriends in front of Mordecai's face. And I'm pretty sure she knew that Mordecai liked him. So I don't know why you're rubbing your boyfriends all in Mordecai's face. Don't even get me started on Margaret. Like, I never had a problem with Margaret, but now that I'm actually, like, thinking about it, I, I think I do have a problem with Margaret. And then CJ, CJ was cool, too. Like, they had lots of similar interests, but her emotions was just too much for me. Like, she did not know how to contain herself. Like, she blew up to, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I'm just glad he found love. That's, that's all it is. I'm glad he found love. And Rigby and Eileen, they get kids. Get kids. They have kids, too. And just, you know, Skits is still at the, the park. Benson's still a manager. Everything. Oh, High Five Ghost has kids too. Or does he have kids? Or is he just with, what's her name, Celia? I don't know, I forgot her name. That girl. He becomes a DJ, so that's cool, you know. DJ High Five Ghost spinning the track. You know how he do. And who else did I not name? I feel like I got everybody. Yeah, they all. Oh, and the song, like, I never, I never heard this song before, but it's, I, don't talk about me. Cause it's David Bowie and apparently everybody knows every David Bowie song except me. But that was just the perfect song to play for this montage. Regular Show always has the best songs, like, I'm not even talking about like originally created songs by regular show cast that didn't make sense. But yes it did. But I'm talking about like radio songs, like like songs that they didn't make that they're using for the show have always been good. Like they use Mississippi Queen Mississippi Queen And you know what I mean. Nah, 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 nah. Like that that was a bop. And now they use this song, Heroes. I love this song now. And they just always just know what to do. JG Quintel has a nice, I need to see his playlist. He has a nice music sense, sense of music. You, you know, I'm totally speaking English right now. But yeah, they use that song and that was like the best song. It, um, <laughs> Pops's a Gravestone. Let me read it. He chased butterflies. He loved to laugh. He saved the universe. He was our friend, Pops Maylord. <laughs> the last, like, three seconds or whatever. After that, y'all, I was already crying. This made me sob, like, this finale made me sob. I was so sad. 
Pops ejects the VHS tape from the TV that he is watching in heaven. He's watching them in heaven. And you know what he says? You know what he says? Jolly good show. He says, jolly good show. And that's just how it ends. This finale was too emotional. And I feel like there should have been a warning or something. And then in the promos, they were like, Will regular show go out with a bang? And it did, honey, it did. Ugh. This show went out with a bang. This was such a great ending to such a great show. I wanna thank everyone out there who made this, who helped the show become real, JG Quintel and everybody else. I wanna thank Cartoon Network, even though they didn't promote the eighth season. I but I wanna thank everybody who contributed to this amazing finale, to this amazing show, the regular show. I will never forget you. Regular show. It was anything but.